Get your comment on, people. What's up, socials? Happy Sexy Wednesday. Today I'm gonna show you how you can answer YouTube comments on the fly so that you have no excuse for not staying within the conversation that you're starting on your YouTube channel. Don't be afraid of the YouTube comments. It's a great place to be if you're there. You have to be there in order for it to be a good place to be. I know it sounds crazy, but it's true. Actually, there is meaning to that. That was not a joke. You should be there because if you moderate your comments, people tend to be more kind, more excitable, more in touch with you and your brand. When mama's not watching, the kids be crazy. So we're gonna go over to the iPhone now. Oh, there it is. And we're gonna use the YouTube Creator app to show you how to do this. So first, the YouTube Creator app is actually called Studio, which I always forget, so let's start there. <laughs> Pulling up the dashboard here, you get some basic information. When you open this side panel here, you can actually go into the section that's called Comments, because obviously that's the most highly relevant to what we're talking about today. This is going to be every single comment in the recent past. Okay, so it could be any video in this stream, but this will probably be the most quick way to handle it is just to come to this section. If you wanted to do it per video, if you maybe have a rule like I do, which is I'm going to get to your comments as quickly as possible if it's a video that's been published in the last week, I get to those comments first and then if I have extra time I'll go see if I have other things going on on like a popular video. So I'm, I for that would go to the videos section and then go straight to let's say super hack for longer tweets, right? Let's say that's a relevant one. So when you scroll down to the bottom, you're gonna see the comments specifically for that video and by tapping on any one of them you can reply to it individually which I really really like because it becomes a direct reply back to that person especially if it's on Google Plus as an update that's really nice because it looks like you replied to their social update on Google Plus because the two of them tie in so nicely so click on the comment itself and then you're able to reply it. or you can thumbs it up flag it or trash it if it's a very, very bad comment. I don't recommend trashing anything, obviously, unless, you know, the person's a hot mess. That's your own social media policy. Uh, okay, so for this one, I would probably say thanks, post. And so that's really cool. What I really love though is when you go back to comments, you can see, and even in individual videos, if you scroll, you can see replies to, video, to comments that you've already done. So the nice thing about this is it's so streamlined, you're gonna be able to knock out a bunch of comments really quickly, a bunch of replies, and not over reply on something. That's where I've found the most disconnect. Sometimes you just don't see if you've already replied to something and that's so embarrassing. You don't want that. So this app makes it so, so easy to reply in the most effective and efficient way possible. That's all for today, socials. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate it as always. Make sure you sign up for Amy's Elite so you don't miss a beat. That link is in the purple bar below. You'll get all the updates, the podcasts, the videos, a note from me. And actually when you join the list, you'll get a free download of the five things you need to know before you create your first vlog. So hop over there and I will be back tomorrow for Social Thursday.